What's going on guys? Alex here with one 4 ADC and today I'm ready to do my full review on the Giant Mouse Knives Ace Riv LL. Now if you're wondering what the LL stands for with the new Riv model, well that is a liner lock. So this is the newer updated version of the Riv. The first one was a frame lock. Um, this is the first one I've checked out. Uh, the, the first Riv always kind of was intriguing to me just because you know it was such a small knife and it seemed really popular but the frame lock kind of threw me away uh turned me away so when i saw that they were coming out with an ll i was like oh i'd love to check one of those out and this is coming in via the lefty pass around group uh, this is part of a duo package you have the ace riv ll and the boss Teed mini nightshade so it's sort of a little mini knife package but uh yeah so shout out to kevin for adding those two together and letting us check it out always appreciate you my brother uh, and yeah, so there are two different versions of the Riv LL currently available, and I will leave a link to Giant Mouse's website down below where I believe they are still all, or still all, both of them are currently available. Uh, you have the green canvas micarta, which is this specific version, and then you also have a brass version for, I believe, about 40 more dollars. Uh, so good knife uh, i was a little bit more surprised with it that i you know that i liked it than i figured i would be still not a huge huge fan of it i think if i'm honestly going to go small knife uh i'm going to go with the baby banner of this one uh just because you know and i get i get it you're talking budget with kind of a premium model but i don't know there's just something about the the baby banner that i really like uh has a little bit better closing action i think uh but honestly this is it's good it's a good little knife and i think i'm going to be able to um, you know, showcase that to you guys in this review. Second video coming in with my rating scale. So hopefully it goes a little bit smoother than the last one. Um, not that it went bad, but I do think I, I you know, kind of had to think about things a little bit more. And I realized I messed up the final rating. Uh, the score was correct, but I forgot to add to 35 points instead of 30 points. Um, so hopefully if I was able to, I inputted a little thing at the end um, saying I messed up. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, we're going to dive right into it. So first, we're going to talk about materials. Um, so obviously, this is rocking some green canvas micarta scales. You have a bronze backspacer, which is very, very on par and on brand for giant mouse knives. You have a little flipper tab up here, hole for deployment. You have a loop over style, deep carry wire pocket clip that goes close to the butt of the knife. You have a little bit sticking up out of there with the lanyard hole coming in the backspacer. Um, the clip is reversible lefty or righty, which is really nice, especially now that it's a liner lock. Uh, lefties can carry it a little bit more easily and operate it a little bit more easily. Um, on the blade, you have CPM Magna Cut, which if my phone will pick up right there. Underneath the Ace logo, nice, clean, sterile um, blade over here. You have a nice forward finger choil, as well as an indentation for your finger on the liner lock, which has a little bit of access. It's definitely... Not the best, um, but it's not the worst. I feel like maybe a little bit more liner lock access. Liner lock access would have maybe enjoyed the knife a little bit more, but again, not the end of the world. Um, as for internal milling, there is none. There's just nested liners. Um, for weight, give you guys a little bit of specs here. Uh, oh, blade finish is stone wash. I did forgot to mention that. Um, so nice worker finish, it's on bearings. Um, blade length is 2.44 inches, measured from tip to forwardmost aspect of frame. Um, so you're not getting that much on the cutting aspect because you are getting the um, choil in the measurement. Uh, blade thickness is 0.118 inches. Handle length is 3.375 inches. Overall length is 5.57 inches and weight is 2.5 ounces. So it's always nice when you kind of have a blade length to weight ratio. Uh, blade length is 2.44 inches and weight is coming in at 2.5 ounces. So pretty much identical, which is really nice. Uh, but yes, I mean, small knife, you're obviously going to get a nice low number for the weight. And I think 2.5 ounces is very much adequate for it. Um, but yeah, for rating, I'm going to go for the price. I, I think it's, you know, I think it's worth it. Uh, I'll go four. I'm not going to say it's the best value in the world, but I think for what Giant Mouse has been producing, for the materials you're getting uh, compared to the price, I'm going to go four. Uh, I feel like I'm never going to give that many fives on the materials to price, you know, unless I just get an absolute gem. And there are definitely ones out there that I can think of, but I feel like most are going to be kind of in that four range, which I am okay with, you know, living with, um, you know, and giving as my rating. 
Um, but next up, we're going to talk about aesthetic real quick. Is this my favorite knife in the world? No, but I do think it's it's nice. Um, I like the, you know, sort of the leaf-shaped blade. has a nice edge. Uh, I'm, obviously, has a nice edge. But, uh, you know, it's a handsome little knife. Again, not my favorite design in the world or even my favorite design from Giant Mouse, to be completely honest with you. Uh, but I think it's it's nice. It's, it's, it's aesthetically pleasing to look at. It has nice body lines, has a nice flow to it. Uh, so I'm going to give this one a four as well. I don't think it's, you know, again, the most just spectacular looking knife out there, but I think it's very nice looking and definitely is not going you know, to hurt your eyes when you look at it. Um, but next up is action. Now, as far as detents go, this is a nice snappy little detent. Um, I definitely dialed it well for the hole and for the flipper tab, but you guys can hear it snapping into place. Uh, I definitely like the amount of detent that they put on here. Um, flipper tab is kind of a micro flipper. It is definitely one of the smaller flipper tabs I've ever handled. You give a little bit of jimping on the front there, uh, push button. And honestly, sometimes the detent is so snappy to where I'll do that. Uh, you know, I'll kind of just slip right off of it because it is so small. But as long as you get a good amount of texture on there and you just fire right out, has no issues really most of the time. Um, middle finger flake is honestly my favorite part of this model and this action uh, with the fidgetability is it's just, you know, for how small it is, you just get a nice, um, nice amount of grip there and it just fires out. Thumb flick also yeah, works pretty well. Not as good as the middle finger flick, but definitely decent. Um, but yeah, that middle finger flick just flies right out of there. Now for closing action, it's not the best. Um, and again, it's a smaller knife, so you can't really be too hard on it. Um, but it, you know, a lot of times it just drops your nail. And it, I think it's something to do with the way the Riv and the Biblio, which I've had in for review before, are shaped. But I have never been a very good fan or very big fan of the closing action. I don't think they're that fun uh, because honestly, I hit the so when I when I drop the blade to my nail, the flipper tab hits it, and then all the time when I go back to that time I did it. But a lot of time when I go back, of course, it's not going to do it on camera. But I have a I have had plenty of issues. When I go to drop this knife, there, it does it. it. It'll be like here, and then I'll go to kind of give it some pressure, and it'll snap back open. That's because the the way the flipper tab is designed and you know placed is it doesn't give it a lot of uh, you know room to fall. So naturally, it's gonna drop, you know, snap back open. Um, I have adjusted a little bit to where I close it a little farther down to get it, you know, the blade closer to being home, and then it just drops down. But I'm never going to, oh, my message just turned off. Uh, you know, it's never going to just be like a free dropper. And again, it's a small knife. I know I shouldn't complain that much about it, uh, but it just kind of bugs me. To be completely honest with you, I just kind of a little bit of a nitpick, um, but it is smooth and, you know, there is no blade play. It's locked up nice and tight. So, you know, all in all, when you're considering everything, the, the flipper flip, the middle finger flick, the thumb flick, the slow roll, and the closing action. I'm going to give this a four too. It seems to be a pretty pretty even keel theme of fours. Uh, you know, again, not the best, but that middle finger flick really, you know, sells it for me. Uh, it's definitely carrying the action apartment uh, as compared to probably the other methods of opening as well as the closing method, but I'm going to land on a four. So next up is acoustics. Now it's my Carta, so it's going to kind of muffle everything, but nice snappy open. The flipper tab, you you don't get it as much. You can definitely hear it, but the real acoustic, you know, singing songbird of this knife is the middle finger flick. Now it's still not the best, and you can hear it when you drop the knife, um, but I'm going to go... I'm going to break the theme of fours here. and I'm going to go 3.5. Uh, I think that's, you know, very fair. Again, not the best I've heard, but it's still, again, the, the middle finger flick is carrying it in a lot of these apartments. Just nice snap, which I really do appreciate. Uh, next up is Ergos. 
and the Ergos is going to get a five. Uh, this is very, very comfortable. Uh, it's obviously a small knife. Like I've said 17 different times, and you guys can see it's a small knife. So without using the choil, it's not going to be comfortable. Um, I can barely get three fingers on this knife. Uh, you do have jimping up here on the crown spine, which I did forget to mention, but uh, crown spine is very nice. I love Giant Mouse's crown spines. Um, but pointer finger here, two fingers follow suit. My um, pinky finger is just definitely kind of hanging out back here, nothing really to grab onto. Uh, so it's not the best, most comfortable in the world. Uh, one thing that is really helping the Ergo department is the wire pocket You guys know I love wire pocket clips. They just are unobtrusive. They are just, you know, they work, they work well. They're, they're no true hot spots. They are great when it's, you know, when I'm talking about Ergos. Um, but the real winner in the Ergo department is using this forward finger choil. So middle finger goes right here behind the slipper tab restriction point. Two fingers follow suit. They finally get some room to hang on there. The pinky finger is all aboard, ready to pull out of the station. And then my pointer finger goes right around here. Thumb lands right on the jimping or even a little bit more, almost to the end of the blade. Uh, if you're gonna be doing push cuts, uh, great control. I mean, this thing is going nowhere. It's locked into my hand. And this is very, very comfortable. So this is honestly, you know, one of the, my favorite parts about the knife is, probably my favorite part about the knife is how comfortable it is and how just, you know, you get pretty much a nice little slab of Magna Cut to be doing push cuts through cardboard. Uh, pinch grip works really well. You drop it down in and slice through Amazon packages, cut around labels, so on and so forth, things of that nature. Um, you know, really that's, I'm not gonna recommend other ways to hold the knife because again, it's not very comfortable. Uh, you can definitely, well, you could probably hold it this way as a reverse hammer grip if you have to cut through rope. Um, that's a little bit comfortable, but you definitely are going to be feeling that flipper tab if you drop it down in your hand even more. Uh, so I would definitely probably just recommend utilizing it in this method, and I think most people are going to, either this way or in a pinch grip, which works really nice with these smaller knives. You can just doo -doo -doo -doo, cut whatever you need. Uh, my Carta has a really good feel to it. You guys all know, probably at least know, my Carta from Giant Mouse is going to be quality, has a you know, not too dry, but not too, you know, saturated texture. And of course, my card is going to do, you know, kind of patina its own way for your hands, which is really nice. Um, Pot clip is reversible, which is really, really good for you lefties out there. So all in all, with those things considered, I'm going to go a five on this one just because it is that comfortable and it just really just melts into your hand. It, it's really, really comfortable in this standpoint. So five on the Ergos. Now another... Five, I think it's going to be is carry. Uh, again, it's so small, you know, it comes in at 2.5 ounces. Uh, I can pretty much make it, I, you, I pretty much can make it disappear in my hand um, for the most part. So it's, it's very, very small, very unobtrusive. It sits on your pocket. Uh, the one thing that I can knock this a little bit with is the flipper tab. But again, it's not, you know, the flipper tab doesn't have too much jimping on it to where you have much risk as if you're going down behind it or excuse me, beside it for change, chapstick, coins. Those are the same thing. Medicine, whatever the hell you're going in there for, uh, you do have a little bit of risk of when you go down in, grab it and pull back out of catching the knife and maybe pulling the knife up with you. But I never had any issues with it. Uh, this thing is fantastic in gym shorts, which again, it's not gym shorts weather. It's January 2nd here in Pennsylvania. Pretty much everywhere. Everywhere? That was a dumb thing. Um, it's cold here in Pennsylvania, which is pretty much a lot of the places around the country, unless you're, you know, in Florida or California. But carries great with gym shorts. I've uh, carried it in jeans a few times. It carries well there. And uh, yeah, I'm really kind of just, you know, the flipper tab is a little bit pointy and kind of sharp, um, but I'm a lot, not going to let that, you know, degrade the just, you know, awesome, 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 awesome carry ability of this knife. So I'm going to have to go five again. Uh, and that leads me to my final category of price point and what I recommend this knife. Uh, so price point on the Green Micarta Riv is $195. You can get the brass version for $235, but we're talking about this specific version right here. So $195, can I recommend it? I think that's a very fair price. Um, and if you're in the market for a nice small fifth pocket carry knife that is going to do everything you need to do, this is right up your alley. Uh, you know, Micarta scales, Magna Cut on the blade, a loop over style deep carry wire clip that is reversible, brass uh, backspacer with a lanyard hole liner lock with decent action you know you have a great middle finger flick so if you're looking for something you can flick and flick and flick for this size don't hesitate i think this is a great knife smooth clothes just you know not my cup of tea 
when we're talking about little knives and, and closing methods and things of that nature. So 195 for the price point is very fair. I can definitely recommend it uh, to all of you. Uh, I think that, you know, we're gonna go, are there better values out there? Yes, when you're talking smaller knives, because again, you can get the baby banner, especially now in their Warncliffe style blade for like 55, 60 bucks. So I do not think it's much of a value, but I think for what you're paying for it, the price is adequate. Uh, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go four again. I think that's fair. I don't think that, you know, you're getting the best value for your money. Again, you can get much cheaper, small knives like this. Um, even the giant mouse, uh, nibbler in, I think N690 in aluminum, you can get for under hundred bucks. Um, but again, for, I've said that like six times for the, what you're getting, the materials, everything, the build quality materials, man, I'm just repeating myself a lot today. Um, everything you're getting with this knife, I think it's very fair. So I cannot complain too much, but I'm going to give it a four. So let me add this up real quick. Um, So we are getting a 29.5, which on my scale, let me switch over here, is a good knife. So my code is 27.5 to 30. So it's coming in right at that good knife. Um, it's not, as I drop it, it's not anything that's gonna blow your socks away, but I do think it's very fair. Um, you know, it's, it's really good for ergos and really good for fifth pocket, kind of just an unobtrusive work knife. You're not gonna be probably fidgeting with this too much. Uh, you can with the metal finger flick, but you know, for me, there are better knives out there, but there are also worse knives out there. So kind of falling into the same category as the Trinity. Um, the Trinity was a 28. This is a 29.5. So it's almost breaking into that great category right on the edge. Um, but ultimately there was a few issues, uh, specifically with my 3.5 that was on the uh, action or the acoustics, which is always going to knock a knife a little bit. I feel like maybe I'll have to do some tweaking with my, uh, with my rating there, because that's always going to kind of bring knife, knives down in ratings. Uh, but yeah, so this was my full review of the Giant Mouse Knives Ace Rib LL. Um, huge shout out to Lefty EDC, Kevin, for always providing really good stuff for us in the past around to check out. Um, always getting cool stuff, and I really do appreciate it, Kev. Thank you, buddy. Uh, yeah, so let me know down below. What are your guys' thoughts with the Ace Rib LL? Have you handled the original rib? Have you handled this rib? I would love to hear what you guys have to say, so definitely drop a comment. But I'm going to wrap this up now. So thank you guys again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your morning, evening, day, night, whenever you're watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.